Hey, it's Andy with IT Supplies. We've been waiting for nearly a year to get our hands on the all new Epson SureColor S9170. And now it's here. Today, we're going to unbox the S9170 and show you around Epson's newest flagship solvent printer. When you buy your Epson SureColor S9170 printer from IT Supplies, you can count on one of our Epson certified technicians to come on site to unbox it, set it up, calibrate it, and train your team on how to operate it. Today, we're gonna to show you how the printer ships, how it's assembled, and give you some guidelines for preparing your space for the installation of your new Epson S9170. When we come on site to install this printer, we spend a full day setting the printer up and getting your team ready to use it. For the purpose of this video, we're going to time lapse the installation so that you can catch the highlights and get back to your busy day. Your new Epson S9170 printer ships on a single oversized pallet. You're going to want to make sure you have a forklift or pallet jack to move this heavy pallet into position. Our techs are going to take it from there. When they arrive on site, they'll unpack the components and begin assembling the printer. You can help us out by clearing enough space around the printer pallet so that the stand can be assembled long ways at the side of the pallet like you see in this video. This allows us to build the stand right next to the printer and gives the easiest and safest path to pick the printer up and move it over onto the stand. Before the printer is moved onto the stand, our tech will attach the newly redesigned input feed reel and take up reel. This new system is really slick, installing onto two rails that act as slides for both reel systems. Note that you are going to need access to the back of the printer to load media on the Epson S9170. As you plan out your space, note that the printer is 102 inches long, 45 inches tall, and 39 inches deep. In order to maneuver behind the printer, we would suggest a foot or two of additional clearance from the wall. Of course, the printer is on casters, and we have customers that will put the printer up against the wall during operation, and then wheel one end of the printer out when it's time to change a roll. When it's time to put the printer onto the stand, our techs will need your help in recruiting additional muscles for this one big lift. The printer is just over 750 pounds. With the included poles, this is a four person lift and should only take about 30 seconds. Once the printer is on the stand, our tech will assemble the new bulk ink cabinet and this cabinet attaches to the side of the printer and allows you to use the ink bags that are either 800 milliliters or 1500 milliliters. These sizes can be mixed and matched to give customers the flexibility to choose larger bags for max ink savings per milliliter or smaller bags for, more, for less used inks. Once the cabinet is assembled, your tech will begin charging the printer with ink. The S9170 comes with a full set of those 800 milliliter inks. This was never the case in previous generations and offers a lot of value for customers to begin printing without any additional ink purchases. Charging the S9170 is also much improved from previous generations, taking less than half the time. The Epson S9170 runs on two 110 volt plugs, so you won't need to call an electrician for any special power requir requirements. While the ink is charging, you can make sure that your PC is ready. Epson ships the printer with two RIP options. It comes with a perpetual license to Epson Edge Print RIP. This is Epson's in-house developed RIP that drives up to four printers, Epson printers. For customers that want a more featured RIP, it also ships with a one-year subscription to Onyx Go Plus. Beyond these two included options, you'll also be able to drive the S9170 with any of the other major RIPs that we support. Once the printer is charged up with ink, our techs will run head alignments and feed adjustments to make sure that we are calibrated and ready to print. We'll send a test print, and if all looks good, it will be time to start training you and your team on the operation and maintenance of the printer. Plan to spend about an hour or two in front of the printer going over the ins and outs, and then another hour or so in front of your PC learning how to use the RIP software. That should take us to the end of the day and the completion of your installation. I hope this video has been helpful in giving you a peek at the unboxing and installation of the Epson SureColor S9170. We know you have choices when you decide who you want to buy your new Epson printer from. We hope that you'll give us a chance to show you how our technicians deliver the best installation and training experience in the industry. Thanks for watching this video. For more content on the Epson S9170, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.